what's going on guys and welcome back to some more minecraft dragons today with me tiny turtle and scuba steve and we're still in the crypt with the vampire dragon we have just been admiring this guy and uh, he hasn't been moving much but when he does he is pretty cool he's pretty fast as well which is a big surprise because i thought he was so big but he kind of does look really sleek i suppose he could be could be really fast but look how strong and big he is but um, we've taken all of our notes. We know it is here. So I think it's time for us to head back to our nation and uh, get uh, looking after our own dragon scuba, Steve. I mean, the soldiers are still there. We need to get some places for them all to live as well. And we need to get the little town done in the middle. I mean, we've so much work to do. So we should probably put these keys back where we found them as well. Yeah, I think we have a lot of sprucing up to do back home. But... Uh... This guy is just so awesome. Can we take him with us? <laughs> no, of course not. Come on, come on. We said, we, like, guys, we we came here to see if the dragon was being mistreated or if there was anything strange going on. But it looks all good in my books. So we are okay to leave and leave it here because it seems to be looked after well. And, uh, uh, you know, we're not thieves. We're not bad people. We were just trying to make sure. We did actually break and enter, which is pretty bad. But... I mean, we were just making sure everything was okay. Uh, there's somebody down there. Is that? Oh, no. Uh oh I guarantee uh, it's the owner. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's we've talk about this, okay? We've been caught. Right. Yeah. Right we're, selling, we're selling Girl Scout cookies, okay? We're already in the but, house, though. Can you? Yeah, but we came in. We're Girl Scouts. He, 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 you know, he won't expect us to be breaking into the place. He'll just be like, oh, the two innocent Girl Scouts. We don't. Okay. We're help, not, we can't girl. Be girl Scouts. We're not girls. Oh, would you like some cookies, Mr. Man? Hey. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not no. going to work. The jig is up. Let's just talk to him. Oh, well. What are you two young fellows doing in here? It's been years since I have had any guests. People are usually too scared to come anywhere near me and my home. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you the truth. We came because we heard reports of dragon noises from under your castle. We wanted to make sure that everything was okay, that the dragon was okay, and it was being looked after because I actually have a nation where we, we look after dragons. It's kind of like a dragon sanctuary, so we like to protect them. Ah, I would never harm Dragula. Oh, his name is Dragula. That is so cool. He is my Ooh. oldest friend. However, I have been finding it harder and harder to look after him, I must admit. See, as I get older, I get weaker. But Dragula will live thousands of years more than me. I'm growing very old and weary. Oh dear, okay, yeah. Um, Looking after... What kind of things? Is it is getting harder to feed it? I mean... To, to let her out for a fly? Is it a him? Is it a her? I don't know. Um, but maybe we could help with some of this? I don't know. Well, if you could take Dragula with you and look after him, I would be most appreciative. I want what is best for him, and right now, that would be to go with someone who cares for dragons like you do. Maybe he can make some dragon friends. It's a very lonely life living in the castle with me. Oh, we're going to have to think about this for a second. Give me one second. Let me just discuss this. Um, let's give it to you. This way. Yeah, what's up with this guy? I mean, he said that he hasn't had visitors in years. It, it looks like he hasn't been outside in years. I mean, like, look in there. There's, there's, these visitors are long dead. Yeah, were these... If this is how he treats visitors, no wonder he doesn't get any visitors. Yeah. yeah like, I don't think he's seen sunlight in a long, long time. He is pale. No, I don't think so, but... He said he can't really look after Dragula anymore, but we could we could take him to our nation, maybe make some dragon friends, because he said it's very lonely, and I can imagine Dragula down there by himself all the time. I, I think we should do it. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I said when we were leaving. I wanted to take him with us. Mm, okay. The only thing is, though, uh, can we handle a big dragula like that like how is that how is dragula gonna react around other dragons is he gonna play nice we do oh, not know by the way dragula is the coolest name ever isn't it oh it's really so like awesome it. i um, love it so much so let's yeah i think we'd be good i think we could we could ease him into it you know get him his own area like a nice little cavern like that and then slowly introduce him to other dragons i think we could do this Mm, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, if you think we can do it, let's go for it. This All is right, so exciting. 
Okay, we will happily take Dragula with us. He will live a lovely, wonderful life, I promise. And we'll introduce him to some dragons slowly to see what he thinks. Uh, okay, he must have his own space with pools of blood to drink from. He likes to sleep upside down. Also, so he will need to live in a dark cave of some sort or even underground like he currently does. Do you think you can accommodate this? Absolutely, we can do that. We, we'll go straight there and do it before we even bring Dragula. Excellent. Then, if you don't mind, could you take him with you? I think I might go traveling and see some more of the world before I get too old to move. Thank you, and take care of Dragula. Oh, okay. Ooh. You know what? I could probably put Dragula in an orb and bring him, and then when uh, when we have the area ready, we could we could let him out. What do you think? Yeah, that's an awesome idea. I have some really really good ideas for what we should do. Um, for his living quarters. Also, this guy's really nice. I can't believe he you're is. so scared of this guy. I mean, he's really, really nice. Maybe we should get him something for for giving us Dragula. Like, um, I don't know, like um, a voucher for a tanning salon. Oh, no. They're bad for you, Scuba Steve. Yeah, but he is so pale. He is so pale. But, but he said he's going to go traveling. Maybe he'll go to some beaches Ooh. or something Get his like tan that. on. All right. Oh, yeah. Some bathing. I'm going to grab a Dragula and then let's head on back to the Myth Nation and figure out where to put this guy. He's so awesome. I can't believe he gets to come with us. All right. We made it back with a Dragula. Check it out, guys. <laughs> right. The first time I have a Dragula here. Whoop. Pop him now. Pop. Okay, very go, close. Dragula. Very close to a Drake. Very let's close to a Drake. Uh, he, he seems okay. He seems okay. He doesn't seem nervous. I think the drakes are awesome, but the muscles. Oh, where do you, oh you put them back in. I do. I put them back in. Okay. Uh, um, again, the muscles on the Dragula. Oops. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty, pretty strong looking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. Well, maybe it's from hanging upside down all the time. Ooh, yeah, we haven't seen that yet. No, I haven't seen him do it. But I'm going to go show the Dragon Scout. Dragon Scout! We actually managed to get the dragon that we were showing you the recordings of. Check it out. Boom. Oh, I'll turn him around. <laughs> Boom. Oh, he's got to look that way. But check him out. How cool is he? It is a vampire dragon. It's insane. Dragula. Yeah, his name is Dragula. But uh, Dragula. Wow. I haven't actually seen behind his wings, like his legs. Oh, he's just so cool. The detail, everything in him is just so, so cool. So we need to find a place for this guy to live. Um, preferably somewhere dark. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what about right here? No, I didn't, bear with me here. I know it's not dark, but we could put like yeah. a natural kind of roof around all of here. And then be... it would be really dark and you could put him in there. Yeah, like a big huge cool. layer, like a big cave. I like yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And then that way we can always see him too, because I do like see him. And what if he, ooh, if we could like figure out getting another one and getting some eggs, that would be super, <laughs> super, super cool. So, uh, oh, awesome. there's a little baby red death. Where are you going? What? Yeah, it's crazy. There's uh, been something up with red deaths lately. They seem to be just um, migrating or something because a lot of them come flying across. Yeah, they all seem to be a little bit smaller. So that's a bit strange. Hmm. Maybe the red death laid eggs somewhere. Hmm, we'll have to have a look into that. But uh, let's get going on this guy's area. Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, wait, I'm going to talk Root. to the Dragon Scout first, see what he thinks, because I didn't even actually get his opinion. I've just been too excited. But Dragon Scout, what do you think? Wow, it is so impressive. We must take care to keep it supplied with blood. We don't want it trying to find it elsewhere, if you get what I mean. What a beautiful dragon. That, yeah, 100%. I get what you mean. I mean, we don't want Dragula going off to kill other dragons or, or even us to try and get his food. So we need to make sure he is well, well supplied. But Skipper Steve. Yes, sir. I think it's time to get this. Uh, let us just get this area kind of laid out and then we can see from there what we need. We definitely need pools of blood for it to drink from. Um, yes. So that's going to be gross. So that's your job. And I'll yeah. do the roof. All right. Perfect. Yeah, uh, just come uh -huh. back and let me know when you're ready. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Okay, okay. He seems uh, he seems to like it. I mean, check it out, guys. We've got this full big cavern. We have pools and waterfalls of blood. We have a lot more work to do, I think, to decorate it. But 
I think he's feeling pretty good right now. I, I, I'd say, I'd say he's okay. He's kind of flying around in circles. I mean, you know when dogs do that, where they just like walk yeah. around in circles until I they, think, until they fall down. I think he's happy. I think so. Is he staying at the same height? Is he coming down? What's he doing? I don't know. I think he's just flying around, getting a feel for the place. It's brand new. There's loads of there's loads of blood. Don't ask me where I got the blood, okay? Don't ask me. Don't want to talk ah, about it. I caught him. Oh, hey. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have oh, a little look good. around, my friend. Have a little look around. Uh, we got little pools of blood here for you to drink. And then the big ones over here as well. So plenty of a supply. Oh, he's going for you. Oh, no, I think he's going for a drink. He's going for a drink. Maybe. He's probably Oh no, he's having a look around. Oh, he's so awesome. I he love is. him, but I think he likes this place. I think, I think so he... too. I think so too. I mean, uh, I I'm not that scared of him. Uh, uh, kind of, a little bit, but I, I think we'll be okay once we keep this supply. At least we can feed this supply from the roof as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm kind of thinking, all right, he's going to sleep. Uh, oh, we've got some gaps. We can't let sunlight in. We cannot let sunlight in. We'll fix up the gaps, but... Ooh. Uh, He's gonna Will he sleep. melt and burn? If no. The sun gets up? No, no, that does not. No. <laughs> I mean, he's been outside already, but I think he prefers the dark. So we're going to have to do something where he can he can hang off because he does like to sleep upside down. So we're going to have to figure something out up on the roof for him to sleep like that. Because I was thinking a big cozy woolly bed or something, but then I, I forgot he sleeps upside yeah. down. I mean, usually we put like hay down and stuff like that. Do we hang the hay from the ceiling? I don't know how to make it comfy for this guy. I, I think he just hangs by his toes and that makes it comfy for him. But uh, I, I love it. And uh, you know what? It would be so cool. I'd love to see a baby vampire dragon. I'd say they would be so Ooh. cute and cool. But uh, I don't know. I don't even know if they exist. I mean, is this the only one that exists? We have so much to learn about this. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the only one in existence. I mean, that guy that had him in the like lair i think he's old like real real old oh like he yeah said. so i'm pretty sure he would have found some if there were any more like in the world so yeah. i think this is the last one or maybe the only one ever i don't know but yeah be interesting that's pretty him if we can crazy. learn some more I mean, his area is pretty insane. I think we did a great job, Scuba Steve. It's uh, looking very cool. We could do a little bit more work for sure, guys. And we will. And uh, maybe we see we could fit a few in there. If we did find more vampire dragons, we could definitely get them in there. Or even spooky, scary dragons. I yeah, don't know. Definitely. But um, I think that's where we're going to leave it up today, guys. We managed to get a vampire dragon in our very own nation. And so far... He hasn't eaten anyone, killed anything, uh, which is pretty good. He's just kind of having a little sniff around, having a look at his new area that we spent so long building. And he's got a supply of food there, so we should be A-OK. -okay. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, the new drop of the mod is tomorrow. If you guys are supporters over on Patreon, you will get access to that. You get to play with the new Vampire Dragon, with the Life Fury, and with some more. But guys... They are secret for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. And we will see you soon for some more. Bye. Bye, guys.